You want to win prologue in Tour de Romandie? If we win this, that's a perfect story. Yeah, if we win this, you see. Go, go, go. Okay, mate, come on. Go, go, go. Everything you've got now. Everything you've got. Push, 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 push. Come on. Push. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. This is for the win. Come on. This is for the win. Pick it up now. Come on. This is for the win. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Come on, mate. Okay, guys, listen up. Okay, so we're here doing the, the recon of the prologue for Tour Romandy. The plan is to do two laps, one lap easy sight, get feel, get a sensation and understand the road surface. The second one, take the corners a little bit at speed so you understand the corners, okay? There's not so many corners, but take them a little bit faster. Three weeks before the start of their home race, the Tour de Romandy, Tudor Pro Cycling sent their time trial specialists to get to grips with the prologue course. The recon is uh, very important to get the first impression of the circuit. Right, watch like how is the surface, how, how is, are the corners and then just like get a feeling for it and after we can watch it on a video or also with, uh, with the trainers. I think in a prologue like this where you can make the biggest gain is obviously the watts but also the aerodynamics. An extremely short but brutal effort. Super intense from the beginning on you have to push like maximum till, till the end. Your legs hurt like hell afterwards. He is on one side our the team owner, but on the other side he's also our mentor. He has this incredible knowledge and this incredible experience he made. He comes up with sometimes very unconventional, but very uh, forward-thinking ideas what how we can improve things. It's like on the track. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, take the so momentum so with the huh? speed, no? Put it on top on the, on the balustrade. Yes, exactly. Breathe out, go down. Yes, you see. Hey, it's easy. Go like like a skier, like. Yeah, Boom. yeah, yeah. On that that, 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 that you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of our most important races of the year, so um, we want that also the riders can can prepare it in the right way, in the right direction. We can adapt the training, maybe like search an area at home where it's pretty similar. That will now for sure invest on the time trial bike. Go then to Sicilia with another race to get like the last power and then just prepare again on the time trial bike for Romandie. He really is fighting hard towards the final 150 meters, but it looks like he is going to pull it off. And he wins the stage from the breakaway. Joel Suter, well done. A win for Tudor Pro Cycling. After their success in Sicily, the team arrives in Romandy full of confidence ahead of the prologue, until an unforeseeable twist threatens to undo all of their hard work. Also a flat tire. Bad, huh? Okay. It's like after the second corner. Yeah, I slid it two times there. Seven punctures in the morning recon. The team has only a few hours to solve this mystery, or everything could be jeopardized. And it seems that both ourselves and a lot of other teams have had a few punctures out there. Um, so we've, we've made some changes to the material we're using and then we've obviously contacted the organiser as well um, alongside some other teams uh, to see if they can clean that particular section of road where a lot of people were, were getting punctures. With the puncture problem resolved, the team are free again to focus on their prologue dream. Uh -huh.